Hi Capricorn and welcome to your weekly love tarot forecast. This is for the week of November 12th through November 18th, 2018. So Capricorn, let's see what the general overall energy is for you guys this week. All right, so we have persist. <clears throat> Be persistent. Mean every word you pronounce. Remain loyal and true. Trust your vision and intuition. Stay the course and you will succeed. Don't give up. Very nice. How encouraging, right, Capricorn? So, um, if you are pursuing somebody and they may be playing a little bit hard to get, just continue on in your endeavor. Um, you know, they definitely will give you a little morsel here and there and you'll know that they're interested back, but <clears throat> it might just be a very slow process. So if that speaks to you, just continue forward and um, your efforts will definitely pay off. Those of you in like a committed relationship, you know, don't, this is not a time to give up and to throw in the towel. Um, if you've been going through hard times, whether with each other or just different circumstances affecting your relationship, don't give up, Capricorn. Just keep um, pushing through. Um, no matter what's going on this week, um, what could happen for you outside the relationship or for your partner outside of the relationship, you know, it's all very temporary and um, what you may perceive as a setback, it's not really a setback. So it might actually work out better than you think. So let's pull some more cards. It's just like, don't give up, Capricorn. Things are improving. Things are going to get better. And if it's just a really rough week for you and your partner, this too shall pass, okay? Um, those of you super single out there, this is the universe saying don't you dare give up and be um, a salty Sally about love and romance. There is somebody out there for you. All right, Capricorn, let's see. Okay, over here on this side, we have a separation. And over here, we have let your friends help. So Sagittarius did have this card, but in this position in their reading. Um, Capricorn, with this, yeah, there is somebody who you guys are crushing on or really just adore and um, you are just friends with this person or this is like a co-worker or this is um, a friend of somebody you know. And it's just like, look don't give up the hope or don't give up the pursuit whatever the setback is um you know if they're with somebody else right now just trust that it's all about divine timing capricorn okay um also if you're like um broken up from somebody or, or something along those lines and you guys have mutual friends you might um, be able to get some allies or some help on your side by communicating with those mutual friends or you might find out information that perhaps who you're missing is missing you as much as you're missing them, okay? Um, also, if there's somebody where you just constantly are kind of having like this misconnection, missed opportunity, um, or it's like every time you get together, everything that could go wrong goes wrong, that energy is eventually going to pass, Capricorn, and you and this person are going to uh, click. There will come a moment where it just all clicks and you guys are um, doing good. Now, those of you who are broken up and you're really missing somebody and you want to get back and you're hoping to get back with them, the best advice for this week is to just be their friend. Have no expectation of anything else and be in the pursuit of being just their friend. It's like that's what bridges the distance and the gap between the two of you. But <clears throat> trying to um, maybe be more than that this week might be too much, okay? Just depending on your different situations. So 
if you're talking to an ex, just be friends this week. Or um, if they're really eager and persistent in trying to get back into your world, maybe let them know that let's just be friends. Let's start off as friends, okay? Um, also, though, you singles out there, if you're set up on any sort of blind date or you decide to kind of give in to somebody who's been pursuing you for a while... I'm not so sure that you're going to be interested. Like, so if you, if there's somebody that's been pursuing you for quite some time and you're like, okay, I'm just going to give in to this to make it stop and maybe, maybe, just maybe there will be a spark. There won't be. So you might not even want to waste your time, okay? Um, so let's pull more cards here. Alright, so we have the moon, the soul. This definitely is like, I want to reunite with somebody. I want to connect with somebody. And over here we have air element communication. So this is uh, good. There's like conversation, discussion. We're talking about our relationship. We're talking about us. We're talking about possibilities. Um, there may your some of you may have a friend or somebody that wants to like hook you up on a blind date. Um, again, I don't know that you're feeling it so much, Capricorn. I mean, this is just a general reading, but that's just the sense I'm getting is you. Those of you who are like being set up by friends or maybe going out um, with people from dating websites, it's almost as though you're doing that in an attempt to. Um, get your mind off of somebody else that you're separated from that you really desire to be with more so than anybody new you're meeting, okay? If that's the case, Capricorn, you're better off just being alone for now and not even wasting your time and energy on people in relationships that have absolutely no longevity. They're just distractions. And, I, you know, in a, the reading, I typically see um, your guys' energy over here and who you're dealing with over here. And um, I see Capricorn really wanting to reconnect with somebody or if we're already in a committed relationship, it's like we want to talk. We want to move beyond whatever's holding us back, um, any sort of distance, emotional, mental, physical. It's like I want to overcome this. I want to, you know, bridge the distance. And over here, it's like I'm willing to talk. I'm willing to communicate but right now I just want to be friends so Capricorn if you've really been like trying to pursue uh, an ex that you're separated from it's like don't give up in that pursuit but they're coming at you saying listen for now we can only be friends and go with that because that's what keeps the lines of communication open with that person okay um, I don't really see that like we're reconciling this week, but for you, it's better for you to just be their friend for now, and that keeps the you know you guys talking and the lines of communication open. And also with the moon coming in on this side, there's a reason for separation, right? There's growth um, and lessons to be learned. So right now, the person you're missing, it's better to just be their friend and let's talk, let's communicate, let's work through this energy in a very positive way, okay? Um, again, if somebody that's really been pursuing you, you've decided, okay, I'm going to give this a shot. Again, Capricorn, I'm not sure that you're even interested. Anybody trying to set you up this week? Uh-uh. Um, dating website? Uh-uh. Like, I just... Uh, uh I don't feel like new romance is what's on the agenda for this week. It, it's more about dealing with old um, emotions or a, a relationship of the past, you know, really like cleaning up that energy. Or if you and an ex have really just been at each other's throats this week, very well may be the week where we can finally understand each other and see eye to eye and agree to become friends and communicate with each other quite respectfully, all right? So this is a, like a week of healing. And, um, you know, with that Persist card, Capricorn, it's saying don't give up on who you want or what you want, but pay attention to what is appropriate right now, what that other person is capable of giving you right now. 
All right, so let's pull some tarot. Ace of Cups. Seven of Cups. So this is the Lord of Root and Power of Water, and this is the Lord of Illusionary Success. And then we have the Hermit, Magnus of the Voice of Light. So here's that disconnection, that separation, okay? Next we have the Five of Cups, Lord of Loss of and Pleasure. Here's the sadness of that separation. And lastly, we have the Emperor, Son of the Morning. Yes, Capricorn, um, those of you who are missing an ex, really wanting to reconnect and reconcile with an ex, uh, based on this here, again, this is not the really the week for that to come back together in a romantic way. There's things that have got to be addressed, that have got to be worked out before there's any sort of real reconciliation and reunitement. And you have two major arcana and three minor, and the minor are all cups, so a lot of emotion um, this week, a lot of emotional energy moving through you, your partner, um, whether we're together or separated. It's a very emotional week. And those of you who are separated from somebody, again, it's like choose the avenue of friendship. Don't fool yourself that anything has really changed at this point because it hasn't. There's still much more healing and growing that needs to take place to come into this emperor energy where I'm strong, I'm empowered, I'm in control, I can do the right thing. Um, some of you may be dealing with the Virgo or an Aries <clears throat> with these two cards coming out or with all this water potentially could be a Cancer, uh, Pisces or Scorpio that you're dealing with, okay? But very strong <clears throat> Cancer card, I'm sorry, Cancer energy with the moon popping up. Um, and while well, the moon rules cancer in um, astrology, but the moon card in the tarot is the ruler of Pisces. So I guess I should say strong Pisces and cancer in this reading as well. But Capricorn, really, it's like um, pursue, but be friends. Don't push the agenda. Go with what is. Don't give up. Like, don't throw in the towel. Don't feel defeated. Don't feel disheartened. Because things are, there's a change that will be up ahead for you um, in your relationship or um, in perhaps those of you who are single out there, like you're coming to the end of that single cycle and it's time for a new love, but there's like things that we've got to work on. There's things we've got to work out and let the past go somehow, some way to become very empowered within ourselves. Okay. Um, those of you in committed relationships where there's been struggle within the relationship between the two of you or external things, um, it's like this week we're feeling very pessimistic, like there's no turnaround. We're never going to get past this. We're never going to get through this. We're never going to get beyond this. But the thing is, Capricorn, I really feel if we can kind of take a step back and communicate as friends and talk to each other that way, like when we first met before we were a couple and, and that changes everything, right? Talk like friends. Hear each other out from that perspective. Feel each other out from that perspective. Also, if there's a lot of like meddling friends or friends causing chaos within um, your current relationship, whether on your side or the side of your partner, Capricorn, it's time to address those issues. And if, if you have some friends that don't get along with your partner and um, you know, you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place, you might want to take a time out and really assess because sometimes it is the person you're with or sometimes your friends just aren't the right friends anymore. Like you've changed and you've grown into somebody new and it might be time to put a little bit more distance 
between you and the friends and start putting a little bit more time, energy, and effort into the relationship. Or this could go the other way where you feel that your partner needs to put more time, energy, and effort into the relationship opposed to so much time, energy, and effort with friends. And this is a great week to communicate all of that, all right, over here. But, um... Not in a real blamey way, more from like your soul, okay? Like this has to change. Like we've got to make these changes together. We've got to make adjustments. This and this and this is really hard for me to deal with. What is it that I'm doing that's hard for you to deal with? Like how how can we be balanced and scale here addressing your needs and issues as well as addressing my needs and issues, healing this and overcoming it and moving forward because it's almost like you guys need to become friends again okay and like that's the magic to um falling in love or your love reuniting re-sparking it's like it comes through friendship more than anything else from what i'm seeing here so let's okay outcome card is lost love surrender healing release yep Whatever was in the past, Capricorn, let it go. Let it be done. Let it be what it be. Doesn't mean that you and this person don't have a second chance or if you're already in this relationship, it's time to let the baggage of the past go. And so we can reconnect as friends because that's where the conversation, the real conversation is happening and taking place, all right? Um, and lastly, because this is the outcome those of you who have really, really been struggling with a broken heart and letting an ex go, and this is somebody I don't feel that you're talking to really anymore, or if you're talking to them, it's like we're just wrapping it up where we're um, finalizing things, you know, closing up loose ends, etc. It may be time for you to persist in only being that person's friend rather than hoping to reconnect emotionally or romantically um, because it's like surrender heal release let be what is and focus on just being friends on communicating there's just a lot of energy that needs to be transmuted and healed and those of you in existing relationships again we've got to let the past emotional baggage go in order for us to move forward in a strong union to be this emperor energy of force that is unstoppable, you know? Um, so Capricorn, persist in friendship, persist in communication. That is the magic key, you know, in any sort of restoration or reconciliation down the road. Um, again, those of you who are really hurting over somebody, any new romantic opportunities that have recently shown up or trying to show up in your world, Capricorn, you might be better just to be friends with them um, until you are totally healed. Um, if you're really pursuing somebody who is super hung up on an ex or has a lot of emotional baggage from the past, again, it's better to just be their friend for now and let them work through their energy, let go of their illusions and, you know, falsity falsities about what is really the truth of their situation with their ex, with their past, and give them time to come into the acceptance of the presence of what their reality is now so they can release and heal the past, all right? So if who you are interested in is really hung up on somebody else, better is friends, okay? Um, if you're really hung up on an ex, better is friends right now. Uh, in existing relationships, let's go back to being friends. And that doesn't mean like let's break up and just be homies. I mean, let's go back to when we were first together and we were friends and it was easy to communicate with each other. It was easy to talk. It was fun. It was silly. It was playful. It was flirty. You know, there wasn't all these emotions involved. People were, didn't have insecurities and jealousies and hurts hadn't happened yet. That's that's where we should focus on returning to because that's where your love will reignite and, you know, go to a different level than you have had in the past. Okay, Capricorn, so those are your messages this week in regards to love and romance. I am wishing you all the best, Capricorn. Take care.